What's going on you guys? Laxo here again. Alright guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and go over Senbon Zakura really quickly here. I have had lots of time to think about it, lots of time to go over him, lots of time to battle with him. I've watched a lot of footage on him. And I think I've come up with my final opinion on him. And it might not be a very popular opinion, I understand, but... Let's go ahead and check him out. All right. So I think the the best thing that he has going for him, honestly, the best thing be besides besides his rage gen, because he can generate rage pretty quickly, is his mastery skills. Mastery skills is actually really, really nice. It has a 50% increased block pierce chance and ignores 60% of all the target's defense, which is actually insane it's it's almost like a war soul of the eye built into the character so it's pretty nice it hits i think seven to eight times it's pretty much biakia's mastery skill but it ignores defense and ignores block so that's really really nice if you can get him with a bunch of block speaking of which war soul wise you probably want to put a little a, a lot of crit on him because he already has block pierce chance he already has uh defense ignore he all he really needs is crit and he does lack crit a bit but if you can get crits off he actually does hit okay but with that being said yeah that's probably the best part of his kit right there i really do like his mastery skill quite a bit he reminds me of kind of like a yodoichi type master skill you know all right so anyways let's go ahead and check out his rage skill really really quickly here okay so Deals damage to an enemy column, the lower the target HP, the greater the damage dealt by this attack to the target, plus 1% additional damage for each 1% of the HP the target is missing to a maximum of 100% additional damage. Whenever Senbon Zakura Kagayoshi kills an enemy, Senbon Zakura recovers 20% of his max HP and gains 20% increased damage rate and 7% increased damage reduction rate until the end of combat. The buff effect from killing enemy units will not take effect when somebody's like, okay. So, there are two types of characters in this game. Let's just cut and dry, very simple, two types of characters in this game, especially damage units. There's the damage unit that requires no setup at all. You just throw them in it, they get up and go, they fend for themselves, they support themselves and they go and they're amazing you know we got the characters like we got mudamasa we got uh don guy ichigo we got vasta lord ichigo you know we got all these characters that you just throw in there they go another good example is uh biakia even a bit so these characters you just throw them in there they get up and go they do damage they're dependable you can count on them they're there and then there's the other category of characters of which you need to actually build a team around them they need to have pieces around them to actually work together to synchronize really well and there's always that little bit of luck you have to hope that you get that luck in the combat for things to go well and for the characters to really shine and unfortunately Senbon Zakura is a part of the latter category where you have to hope that things go well and he could shine really really well if you don't have him in that perfect team then unfortunately things don't go too well for him he's pretty squishy and unfortunately if you don't get the killing blow on the enemy characters then he kind of is stale he sits there he doesn't do much and he dies so and he's also a later game character you know he doesn't rage first round you need you need to get him to rage early and often but Fortunately, he's a tiger, so you don't get that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and check out his passive here. At the end of each round for every enemy unit who has less than 40% HP, gains 200 rage, and Benzakata gains a stack of firm loyalty. After every basic attack or mastery skill, stack up two times, cannot be dispelled. Some Benzakata gains 400 rage and increased crit chance, damage rate, and block pierce chance after reaching two stacks. As I was saying, he is really, really good at generating rage for himself. He can generate rage after he rages and he gets his kit going. Then he turns into a, a 
pretty good damaging unit, a good like a good damaging unit, but not great, just good. And unfortunately, even with his rage skill, that damage isn't there. I I do believe if you go watch my other video of Muda of Senbon Zakura, you will hear me say, "Well, it looks good on paper, but we just need to wait and see how his kit turns out, how his damage feels, you know." And unfortunately, I was I was exactly right. I nailed it. And he just doesn't do damage. He he requires a lot of pieces around him. He requires crit. And unfortunately, he's just lacking too much. His damage is comparable to probably Vastalorda Ichigo. It's probably around half of what you can expect damage from, you know, a Don guy Ichigo. And unfortunately, that's just not going to cut it in today's gameplay, you know. Today's gameplay is burst, try and burst your team, your the enemy team down, or at least that's the way it is for a lot of the teams that I play against. You have to try and burst them. If you don't burst them, then it's GG. Or you could both play the long con, you know, the long game, and see how that goes. But fortunately, Senbon Zakura, he's just slacking too much, and I personally not a big fan of him. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a quick look at his War Souls really quickly here. So, the War Souls, I, I was testing uh, the Azure War Soul just so I can get him his Rage quickly. I was getting the Rage off first round, which is nice. Another, as I was saying before, you really, really want the crit on there. So anything that offers crit is really, really good on him. You want that crit. So, at typically, crit you want on him. Let's see here, what else is good? I think there's War Soul of Wrath is pretty good. You get a little bit of crit here as well. And there's one more War Soul. Yeah, the Fan War Soul. Fan War Soul is also pretty good on him. You know, you get some crit chance and some crit strength. So, both of those are pretty good. Honestly, the Fan War Soul might work really, really well for him because he crits quite a bit. So, I'm sorry, he rages after he gets his rage going then he rages quite a bit he pretty much rages every round after but unfortunately his damage is just lacking and slow but nonetheless that's being said let's go ahead and check out him in battle all right so this is the team i am working with here as you can see i did my best to put pieces around him i put support in there to keep him alive so he will not die and then I actually put the back row in there just so they can get a little bit of damage off. He can attack later so he can get that extra damage. And then the these guys are also there to have a comparable amount of damage, you know. So we can compare them to them. And in the rage slot, of course, I have rage regen, rage regen, and crit gen. Because we need rage and we need crit on him badly. Alright, let's go ahead and check out a battle. All right, so here, as you can see, the team I'm going against isn't really a super duper strong team because I'm going because I'm using a really uh, weak team. So this is the team I'm going against because I pretty much just want to show off damage and have the team actually survive. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> So once again, as I was saying before, I want to get that rage gen in. I want to get that rage gen in there so he can rage the first round. He is orange one. Once again, he is orange one, so he isn't going to be uh, hitting too hard, obviously, because he's on a pretty crappy team, but he's also fighting. A pretty crappy team. But there was his master skill, as you can see. It hit about seven to eight times. And it actually does do some pretty good damage if you compare it to the others. Alright, let's go ahead and speed this up here. Alright, so now he has uh, crit on him and crit strength on him. Let's go ahead and take a look at Jusho damage here. There we go, 844k. And no crits? Well, I guess that really doesn't count because the second shot's weaker than first, but 800k damage. Fortunately, he didn't get that crit. 
No, All right, and we are back. So two crits, 630k damage. So a little light there compared to Jushido. Then again, he only has... He's only at three star, so he's not super duper strong. But as you can see, how many characters do you have out there that are under... What did I say? 50%? 40% HP? So he would have... He would be getting... She wouldn't be getting any rage back this turn. But he would have got a little a little buff, a light buff, from killing that one character, Yashiru. So that would have helped him out a little bit there. Give him a little bit extra damage reduction and a little bit extra damage. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the rages again. So 600k. Let's take a look at Ichigo. 745k. I feel like these are again. I feel like these are pretty, pretty even comparisons. Yes, Ichigo and Jushido are both at seven star, but they're also vanilla characters from the start of the game. Here we are again with Yakia. Everyone gets some more crit, and let's see what we do here. So I believe that was one crit, 300k damage, so two characters would have been 600k damage. Alright, unfortunately Ichigo is not below 40% health, so he wouldn't get that benefit from Rage there either. But as you can see, you know, it it's a lot of just rolling of the dice. You know, you have to hope that you get good damage rolls and he can come in and clean up and then he can get the kills and then improve his own kit, you know. Unfortunately, that's just not easy to do. You know, you have to really hope that he is you put him in combat so he is like the only damage dealer. And if he's not the only damage dealer in combat, then you might not even see him help himself at all. You know, you might not even get two stacks of firm loyalty the entire... Like, it's really rough, it's really messy, and honestly, it's just too difficult. That's why I passed on him, and that's why I'm not upset that I passed on him. So, anyways, I hope you guys found this video informing or informative or helpful in any way shape or form i know i don't have him super pumped up he's only he's only three star and he's not super duper strong but i did compare him to characters that are around the same as you can see ichigo what did i have on him i just had war soul the eye on ichigo and everything else is pretty vanilla and same with uh Let's see here. Yeah, I had Wrath on him. Nothing super crazy. I didn't even have any anything special on him either. So, as you can see, that it, it's a pretty even comparison. He was at 92k power, and he's at 89k power. Actually, I also had uh, Warsaw on him as well, so he would have been at 90, 94k. So he would have even had more power than Jushido, but yeah, as I said, that's my final thoughts on him, and that's why I pass on him. Anyways, guys, that's going to do for this one. Once again, I hope you guys got something from it. hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you guys did, feel free to like that video, subscribe to this, subscribe to me, and uh, I'll have more content coming out like this in the future. And yeah, the next video I'm going to be doing here is actually, I'm going to be doing some here I went ahead and recycled uh, the majority of all my uh, stones or runes here so I was able to get like five or no I got like 6k or 7k or 5k whatever back so I'm gonna do another poll pretty soon here and I also have white Ichigo I'm gonna be doing a quick little video on white Ichigo he is the next character to do and I'm going to have fun with that one.
that. Anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for this one. And I will catch you in the next one.